Nancy is in her own as we speak. He was he was dispatched. Uh, that's one reason we had to delay the press conference a while to give him time to get to their house. Yes. Vicky, we will make arrangements to have her detained in another facility. And in fact, those arrangements have already been made. Those arrangements were made three or four days ago. Well, we primarily want to bring him back here and hold him accountable, not not only for this escape, obviously, for but for the uh, murder of Vicky Watt, Vicky uh, Ridgeway. I mean, I'm sorry, Connie Ridgeway. So we're going to be working with the sheriff's department to make sure that we can get him extradited and get him back here and, and hold him accountable. Well, I mean, his capital murder case is set for June, so you know, plan A would be to try him in June for that. And there are a lot of moving parts between there and now, but I mean, that's plan A. And obviously, I know that our, we got a great staff at the jail, and I know that they're gonna be high, on high alert to, to house him and make sure that he doesn't get away from us again. So she's charged with facilitating the escapes. That's a class C felony, so she's looking it up to 10 years in, in prison. It's not gonna be easy her being a corrections officer either. Thought about all that shit. Yes, I mean that was our again our first priority when we found out that that they were captured is to let them know that and, and we've done that so they know. What was their take well, to be frank, they already knew it from Facebook. So apparently, the people in Indiana had already released it on Facebook. But yeah, well, I mean, but but yeah, that's part of what we take very seriously is to make sure that our victims are informed and consulted about about the case, and, and we've done that. Absolutely, and I mean that's that's one of the really sad things about this that after finally being able to indict him for her murder of having this twist and turn in that case. It's got to be devastating to them, so we look forward to bringing him to justice. What was the reaction from cases next month? I have not spoken to her, so I don't have any reaction from her. Well, there you see the breaking news, major breaking news coming in from Alabama. Uh, you just heard uh, the police chief there, the sheriff, announcing, uh, reporting that uh, the prisoner, uh, the, the prisoner, the missing inmate, Casey White, 38 years old, uh, has been captured. He's now in police custody, along with Vicki White, 56 years old, the missing former uh, Alabama corrections officer, who authorities believe helped Casey White, and they're no relation, even though they have the same last name, uh, helped him escape. Uh, they are both in custody now. We are told by U.S. Marshals, uh, they tell CNN that Vicki White's injury, she's now in the hospital, was uh, what they described as a self-inflicted gunshot wound. No law enforcement officers fired any shots, we're told uh, by the Lauderdale County Sheriff Rick Singleton. You heard him make the announcement that both of these individuals are now in custody. Uh, Vicki White, uh, is in custody uh, at a hospital receiving treatment for what U.S. Marshals tell CNN was a self-inflicted gunshot wound. And Casey White, the missing inmate, uh, he is now in police custody as well. Charles Ramsey is joining us right now. He's CNN as a senior law enforcement analyst, former police chief here in Washington, D.C., as well as Philadelphia. What do you make of this, uh, the breaking news, Chief Ramsey? Uh, it, it's over, at least for now. Well, I'm glad they're in custody. I'm not surprised. You know, this case got a lot of national attention. CNN and others really did a good job of getting the information out and keeping the story alive. And in today's world with social media and the way in which people communicate, 
Uh, it, I didn't think it would take very long before they finally found him. I mean, his physical stature alone would make him stand out in a crowd. So uh, it's unfortunate that there were injuries, but again, it's better that they're in custody. That's the main thing. They're both in custody, and we'll see what happens from here. Casey White apparently not injured. Uh, Vicki White clearly injured. She's in the hospital for treatment from what, uh, as I said, U.S. Marshals described as a self-inflicted gunshot uh, wound. Uh, and she's now, uh, she's been transported to a hospital there in uh, Evansville, Indiana. Uh, they both uh, escaped from this detention center in uh, Alabama, and they obviously made it all the way up to Indiana. You